from a flood that should have wiped out the course to the biggest disc golf tournament the region's ever seen. It was a crazy season for the sport and the peace. In Dawson Creek, things started innocently enough. We defined the tee pads uh, for the white tees on the course. We used uh, concrete curb stops and uh, painted them. It was kind of nice to have a little bit more permanency on the course and uh, makes it easier for people from out of town to know where to throw from. Shortly after, the large flooding in Dawson Creek saw the majority of the course submerged underwater. Somewhat surprisingly, nothing washed away. Only one basket suffered a minor damage. But the destruction of 15th Street Bridge caused minor problems. Nothing a little car drive or mini hike couldn't solve, though. When it's dry out, you can walk across the creek. And uh, when it's not dry out, we just, on league nights, we drive around and we would play half the course and then drive around and play, play the other half. So we made it work. Growing the sport and the piece was also on the agenda this season. Martin helped some disc golf fans in Fort St. John build a course this past summer. We put some resources and some time and, and a lot of trips up to Fort St. John and we, we helped them out with uh, scouting out different parks like Kin Park and Toboggan Hill and the course is at Toboggan Hill right now and yeah so it's really great because great to help out another city and get another club going. Which led to the super successful Battle of the Peace tournament held at the Lone Wolf Golf Course in Taylor, with attendance numbers far exceeding expectations. We hosted like the largest tournament uh, in this region ever, and it was, the same, uh, it was the same participation numbers as the Alberta Open in Edmonton. So I think that's pretty impressive. The growing popularity of disc golf was apparent at the Dawson Creek League Championship on Sunday. Our championship uh, game here the other day on the 18th, we had twice as many people as we did last year. Despite the large turnout, the final battle was played by the two men that duked it out for first last year. I shot, I think, 13 or 14 under par after two rounds of play, and Joel Stainer, he, he was second. And uh, then we had a championship head-to-head uh, -head match play uh, after that, and uh, he beat me again for the second year in a row. <laughs> Derek Lightfoot, CJDC TV Sports, Dawson Creek.